All right, so I'm back to work on the car today. I think I'm going to try and paint the frame today because um, I'll be playing musical leather tomorrow. There's a slight chance of rain tomorrow, but um, I'm undoing these. This one's loose on this side. Whoops, one of the screws just fell out. I just had it in there with a thread or two. I was just going to get them all loose, but they're all undoing. I've been using this to break them free, and then I just turned them out with my stubby Phillips. So they're all turning out. So these were the worst of the one. Those were the worst of the ones and they turned out. So those are the first ones I tackled. And if they turn out, the rest will turn out. All right, let me go loosen up the other side, and then I'm going to get that header off so I can uh, get the car outside to start masking it off. I got these ribs off. This was the hardest screw. I actually had to heat this one. That was one that looked the best, but it was the last screw I did, and they always say, yeah, the last one's always the worst, but... um. Uh, you know, this thing is a big help and a little, I just used the propane torch on it. I didn't use the acetylene torch. Didn't want to get all this stuff out here. And, uh, I marked them so you can see one stake there, two stakes there. It's all where you don't see it. And I did the same on the bows, which I'm going to, I think I am just going to throw the end of those in the bead blast cabinet, but I put two stakes there one stake there so I know which way is right, left, front, forward, rear, you know, just keep them in order. They look identical, but I think if I just hold this in with the door open on the blast cabinet, I can just quickly do those ends. And uh, I'm going to unbolt this, start masking. I'm going to back the car out, get the truck out, put it out on the street, back the car out, and paint it as today is the only day for the next three or four days they're not predicting any rain look at all the dirt i got on the car from taking that top frame off clean the make sure it's all clean before i drag plastic over but the this this bolt um hang on am i going the right way no there we go um Go up a little more. This bolt and this one right here are what hold this header on. So I'm gonna get that header off right now. It's off. Yeah. It took a little bit of tapping to get it out, and uh, I'm gonna give these little spots here a quick sand up in here these a quick sand across here maybe where the well where the screws were set in but yeah i'm gonna give some of these little spots a quick sand and start masking oh uh, you can see how i'm masking it off i'm just uh taking the tape and just going around you know for this mechanism then i'll put paper in there there was a hole in the body stamping right about there i don't know if you can see the light lighter part of the tape but that would go into this area so i had to tape that so the spray doesn't blow around and in the you know on this part right in here and i'm going to shove some towels or sheets or something down in here and down in here all us then i'll mask this with paper so all i have to do is drag the plastic over the car the most time-consuming part of painting is masking. I'll just wipe these cylinders off with some lacquer thinner after I uh, spray it. And I, I may, I've been thinking about it, I may change these because it's all apart. But, you know, it might be before, just before I put a new top or maybe even after a new top. We'll see. I can get at those and change them anytime, they're, you know, before I put the interior back together. So it's no big deal. Not too worried about it. But, yeah, that's very time consuming I just wanted to put some sheets you know so if any spray did blow down through here and into the inner panels it doesn't you know get all throughout the car 
And uh, I don't know if these sheets look familiar to you or not, Dad, but they were all from your house. I saved them all. Oh, I didn't save the fitted sheets. I sold those in the estate sales, but the just the regular sheets, I saved them all because, you know, they're awesome for this kind of stuff. So I got a nice stack of... I don't like the fitted sheets. You know, if you go to estate sales, buy the buy the bedding sheets because they work great for when you're painting and masking and stuff. But anyway, that's to the point where I think uh, we'll get the car outside. And uh, if it's, it's kind of breezy out and that plastic is really super thin and flimsy. So hopefully I can get it over the car myself. I don't have anyone here to to assist me but um i'm gonna try and get it over and then i'll get the paint mixed up and and i'm just gonna spray this with my door jam gun i gotta get the cherry picker there out i'm gonna hang these or maybe i'll hang them from the ladder i can just spray them hold them by hand and spray them and or just carry them back in here and hang them from the hooks for the light fixtures that might be the easiest to stand and save dragging the cherry picker out but all right let me uh get the truck out on the street so it doesn't get over spray on it and uh get the car out in the driveway and we'll continue It was just way too windy outside. I'll put a little video clip of some time lapse I was trying to do covering the car up. This stuff was just flying like a flag. And uh, plus that tree sheds needles and they're kind of blown over here and I don't want them in the paint. So I'm gonna paint the car right here. And I'm just gonna leave the garage completely open. And uh, it's all pretty much all masked off both sides and uh, I'm gonna have some lunch and mix up some paint and blow it on. Well I think I got most everything here to start mixing the paint. That's what I'm producing. Hardener, paint, smoothie, glass jar to mix it in, my opener, hammer to close the lid, stir stick, paint filters, and I'm gonna I was thinking maybe I might use my HBLP gun to Seeing I'm painting in the garage, I might get it out instead of using that. My door, I have an HBLP door jam gun, and I think that's what I'm going to use. All right, I just decided to use my Badger 400. And uh, it's breezy out, so hopefully I don't have a lot of overspray. Coat number two. I'm not going to need to spray some of the other areas as heavy. That's the driver's side. 
And this is the passenger side. Let me see if I can, uh, I can't see what I'm videoing. I'm, I'm standing over here. <laughs> so we're going to see this all at the same time. Hopefully everything, all the nooks and crannies back in here are painted. I can't, I can't really see them. It looks like there could be a little bit more paint put in there. I'll get in there with a little bra. I'll say I have about a third of a cup of paint left in the paint gun. And I think what I'll do is I'll just save it and then later I'll just take a foam brush with that paint in that crease because I can see the paint looks a little thin in there. It was hard to spray there with this and everything. You know, I I did the best I could with, uh, let me take a look at this side and see if this side needs paint in there too. No, this side's good. It's actually just this one on that side. The other one I can see from here, it looks pretty good. So I think uh, we'll fix that up, no problem. In fact, I have, I still have some paint in the gun. I might just shoot some in with the gun right now. Why, why everything's still, it's, I mean, I, that's still pretty wet. So I'm gonna just gonna shoot some in there with the spray gun. That's one of the reasons why I inspect things before I cleaned the gun. So I just laid some paint in the crease, the full length, and the other side, like I say, I can see that, and the other side's perfect. I'll get a little video of it once it's all unmasked. I'm gonna let it dry for a little while and uh, mow the lawn and stuff, and then I'll unmask it, we'll wrap up the video. There we go, it's all unmasked now, or demasked, or it looks really good. I, you can now see that channel is perfect and I sprayed all up in there too. So yeah, what a difference that, that made. Wow. Yeah, all this is, I'm probably gonna change those cylinders. I mean, it's, it's this far apart, why not? We'll see, but yeah, so I'll let that dry a couple days and I'll put the header on and the, the bows back on, which I painted too. All right, yep, and then the other one is uh, right there. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here, right now, call it a day, and go and do some editing for you guys. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. It'll help with the expenses on this car because it'll make the video get some more views, the more like it get, likes it gets. So definitely hit it. And if you like my channel and wanna subscribe, hit that 348 engine icon and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.